How's it going guys? This week I'm showing you how I made my mold for my Daft Punk helmet. So I've had the materials to do this for a few months now and I just haven't yet because I was kind of intimidated of the process of making a mold even though I've watched a bunch of videos on it multiple times. Um, but I decided I had to do it, so I finally did, and uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, it turned out better than I expected, but worse than I had hoped. Um, but I'm pretty happy with it, and I will show you guys how I did it. So my first step was to block off the ear cups using some foam board, and then using some oil-based non-air drying clay, I started claying up the helmet and smoothing that out and just claying off all the different areas that I didn't want silicone to get into. Um, this is just going to be waste area with the resin casting, um, but it just needs to be made so that uh, the entire helmet is just kind of blocked off. Working with clay was actually a lot of fun and I look forward to using it on some future projects. To block off the visor area, instead of wasting a bunch of clay, I decided to use one of my failed attempts at vacuum forming a visor and then I just covered the edges with clay. Once I had the whole helmet clayed up, it was time to make the parting line uh, that would split my mold in half. I did this using some more clay and I even added some registration marks. Time to mix some silicone. Make sure you follow the instructions on the containers for how to mix your silicone. Um, I chose my quantity uh, a little bit arbitrarily, but there are calculators that you can use to do some math and figure out exactly how much you need. So on this step here, I was just putting on a thin layer of silicone. This is called the print coat, and this is just there to pick up any of the minor details in the mold, like the details in the ear cup and that sort of thing. Then I added some Thyvex to my silicone and mixed it in a different color to do my second coat. Then I went ahead and applied this thicker layer of silicone as well as these registration keys to help the mold lock into the jacket mold later on. My next step was applying my third and final layer of silicone. This one was much thicker and uh, it was pretty much just globbing it on and trying to generally smooth out the outer shape of the mold. So it was time to do the other half and I did spray on mold release. Um, it ended up not actually working because I didn't wait long enough before applying my silicone and the two halves stuck together. After I put on the second half, I let the silicone cure and then I trimmed it and went ahead and started working on my jacket mold. So the first thing I did is I roughly created a template to go around the middle of my helmet. I suggest trying to get it as close as you can with a piece of cardboard first and then tracing that out onto your plywood so that way you don't waste wood and it's a lot harder to make adjustments in the wood than it is in the cardboard. Then I glued down those two pieces of wood and drilled some holes and bolted them together. I also used these business cards to try to keep the plasti paste that I'll be spreading on from touching the other half in the areas where there was a little bit of a gap between the wood and the silicone. This plasti paste was an interesting material to work with. It was a two part material that had an applesauce kind of consistency. Uh, it starts getting really warm when it starts kicking and you've got about 10 minutes to spread it on and uh, just make this really hard shell for your jacket mold. I mixed about three batches of plasti paste at a time just so that it wouldn't kick too fast 
and then I repeated the same step on the other side. Once it was cured, I could break everything apart and start taking this mold apart to check out what's inside. Like I said, my silicone ended up sticking to itself, so I actually had to cut my mold down the middle. I did this using an X-Acto knife with a bent blade, and I also tried to cut in a zigzag shape so that the two halves would register together and not misalign. Just making sure the mold fits in the mold jacket and uh, it was done. And that's it, that is the finished mold. Um, I'm probably going to be casting this helmet soon and then obviously I'll be making a video on how I did that. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it really means a lot. If you guys want to keep up with some more DIY videos uh, related to this project and any other projects I may have coming up, Make sure to go hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next week.